Have you ever wondered what are those blinking lights on the airplane? These are called external lights. In this video, we will explain to you how are these lights used on an Airbus 320 plane. If you are new to this channel, just hit the subscribe button for free. Beacon lights are red lights that blink every second. They are found on top and at the bottom of the airplane, in the middle of the fuselage. Here is an example of what beacon lights look like on an airplane. On the left, is a Boeing 737. On the right, an Airbus 320. Navigation lights are those that are found at the wingtips and at the tail of the airplane. The right wing has a green one, while the left one has a red light. Depending on who is flying the airplane, it depends which logo light is going to illuminate. If the captain is responsible for flying, it would be the left side that would illuminate of its logo at the tail. Logo lights are found at the horizontal stabilizer just in front of the elevators that make the airplane move up or down. They illuminate the vertical stabilizer that is in front of the rudder. If the first officer is the one flying the airplane, the right side of it will illuminate. Here is what navigation lights look like on an airplane. As you have noticed, the green lights are on the right, while the red ones are on the left. Taxi lights are those that are used by the pilots to guide them while they are approaching the runway towards taking off. Taxiing is an airplane mode where you are just lining up for the runway as you leave the terminal. This is what taxi lights look like on an airplane. They are found at the nose gear in front. Takeoff lights are being used when an airplane is about to leave the runway as it gathers an enormous amount of speed. Just like taxi lights, take-off lights are also found in front.
here is a detailed explanation of where the takeoff lights are. Strobe lights are white lights that blink at the wingtips and at the tail of an airplane. They blink alternately with the beacon lights. When the pilot sets the strobe lights to automatic, they would only blink once the airplane has taken off and the landing gears leave the ground. But when the strobe lights are set to on, they will be blinking all throughout even when the airplane is just on the ground. Here is what strobe lights look like. As you can see, the white lights blink beside a red or a green light at the wingtips. The strobe lights are also found at the tail of an airplane. They are used to indicate that these are the ends of an airplane to prevent a collision with another one. Wing lights are those airplane lights that are used to eliminate the wings to ensure that there is nothing wrong with the sides. They are found near the front at the forward side of a fuselage and they illuminate the wings in this manner. As you can see, the wing side that is closer to the fuselage are mostly illuminated while well, those that are at the tips are not that bright. That's because the wing lights are based at the fuselage of an airplane. Here is what wing lights look like. They are mounted at the fuselage of an airplane and they illuminate the wings. Landing lights are those airplane lights that are used in approaching a runway. They are used by the pilots to make sure that their landing path is clear of obstacles. They are retractable, just like the landing gears that contain wheels. From retract to off, the landing lights would extend like landing gears. But when they are turned on, they would illuminate steadily, just like navigation lights that are green and red. They are found just below the fuselage to guide the captain and first officer on how to land the airplane on a runway. Runway turn-off lights are those that are found at the nose gear in front 
they illuminate diagonally at the sides so that the pilots have an idea when is it time to leave the runway after you have landed at an airport the runway turn off lights are mounted diagonally they are not like the take off and taxi lights that are pointed straight forward Isn't that impressive how numerous the external lights of an Airbus 320 plane are? We can learn here that external lights are not used only for decorations. They are used for signaling through the air. Just like the flashing lights of a car when it is being parked or turning lights when you are changing lane on the road or turning around a corner. Isn't that impressive how external lights work? That when they featured this on the angel wings of performers, for an Easter showdown in Cebu that they won second place last year they just used to be fourth when only a few angels were being suspended in the air but this time all of them have steady white lights on their wings that's why they became more impressive to look at. I hope you enjoyed watching this explanatory video about what are external lights on an airplane.